so normally when you build a uh, jewel thief circuit, um, you use one of these uh, ferromagnetic cores and you um, create a bifiler coil with one of these. Um, and that creates a large inductance. Um, I thought it would be interesting to try to create a large inductance using wire only. Um, and this is a um, honeycomb coil, crosswound. I believe it's it was pretty easy to make. Um, I believe it's around 18 to 20 turns. Um, it's all kind of covered in wax here. Uh, the first time I made one, tried to pull it off, it all came off, came apart. So I, I thought maybe if I um, seal it in wax, it'll be easier to sort of pull off the form. I still had difficulty pulling pulling it off because the wax made it stick so this inner part got kind of ripped a little bit but um, anyway this coil uh, is essentially a transformer one-to-one -one, uh, with sort of a green wire and a copper wire um, and um, I measured it using sort of this crude in way of measuring inductance and it was uh, 203 Micro Henry's uh, on the green and also on the copper, but both of them are 203 micro Henry's. Um, so here it is running a Jewel Thief circuit with just a 1.5 volt rechargeable battery here. And on the scope, um, I see a waveform that looks like this, which is roughly 20 kilohertz or so sort of very square wave-ish and um, uh, the voltage is uh, um, oh, I have this on the AC scale, sorry so this is um, you know about 1.7 volts here 20 kilohertz. Okay, so it's interesting that you can do a jewel thief. Um, no ferromagnetic material, just wire, but wound in this very efficient honeycomb style, which gives you higher inductance, low capacitance, very easy to wind.